Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do a DIY. It's my first iron-on heat transfer of vinyl um, Cricut project. I um, made squad t-shirts for my birthday and you guys are going to learn along with me mistakes and the ways we're going to fix them and so on. So here we go. So I wanted to show you what I just learned. <laughs> I'm going to show you how, um, so you saw how we cut the, the vinyl. Um, now I have it peeled off. We're gonna weed it. One of the things that I just learned is if you weed it on a warm surface. So one of the things you need to do before you, um, now the sizing, I mean, back in the day we used to have to wash the sizing out. I'm not, if this is just like some fun birthday t-shirts, if that doesn't, you know, if that doesn't stay this clean iron okay <laughs> um if it doesn't stay you know permanent then you know it, it'll be all right it won't be the end of the world <laughs> all right so i actually didn't move that cricket mat with that heat transfer vinyl on it please sorry remember that probably not sorry no that's all right um i'm being mean to you again no <laughs> my memory is not the greatest you know so the, the guys on the thing that I just watched, the tutorial I just watched, Ken's Creations, they said that this weeds really well if it's on a warm surface. So we're going to try that. And he actually demonstrated, like, how to not, like, how to weed without the warm surface and how to weed with the warm surface. So we're going to try that. Um, maybe the surface needs to be a little warmer. Yikes, let's see. Wow. Okay. Let's try warming this table a little bit better. I might have to get my, my ironing mat out because that might hold the heat a little bit better. Let's see if that works. A little bit better. Oh, see? Oh, it's like... It's weird. People just know what they're talking about when they teach us stuff on YouTube. It's not just those of us just winging it for the fun of it. <laughs> teach as you learn as you go. Oh, you're not even looking. <laughs> you're looking at me. So um, I heated this t-shirt um, and it actually made it really easy to grab up. So this was a gift. This is some, um, this is some easy weed, um, by Sison, I believe. Oh, oh. And it, it's supposed to be really good for the intricate parts. Um, and I have a lot of intricate parts or intricate, like my friend Barbara used to say. Um, so what I try to do is I try to utilize as much as I could. I could have cut it and um, scrapped it, you know, like, you know, tried to print out on scraps. But what I ended up doing was putting it back in, looking at where my blank areas were. But I'll show you how I do that in a little while. Okay. Um. So, so far, so good. I don't really know like what's easy and what's not because I don't have that kind of experience just yet, you know? Like I only, this is only my, what, third project and one, and then only my second final product, project, right? No, a third technically because I made the, the thing for Emmy that holds the tissues. <laughs> Here's the part that's difficult when you're dealing with, um, in my in my opinion, with my eyes, the way they are. How can I tell that I'm actually not peeling off something that I need? You know, kind of thing. Um, I cannot work um, by my computer. So to like keep my eyes on my image, that part, um, I just have to go by memory. 
Um, and then we all know memories hmm, um, aren't always what they used to be. <laughs> so, um, I feel like if I had, like, maybe this, would this work? I'm going to see if this will work. Um, just to have it to hold down without sticking to... Um, I mean, it really is going easy, but I don't really have much to compare it to. <laughs> so this was my big purchase of, um, my first purchase of an SVG file. Um, I feel like in, if I had more time, and that's not a cop out, it's just that I had a lot of problems getting the, um, the design space up and running as you meant as you know because i mentioned it before and i sound like a broken record um, if i had more time i could have possibly put this graphic together myself because like i mentioned i don't know if i just mentioned it to you guys or to sarah jane but i'm the per i'm the person that people go to to make the invitations <laughs> i think i mentioned it when i was doing the paper craft um the paper craft um, purge. I really just hope that I'm not doing any damage to. Will this peel up or is that really sticky? Oh, good, that worked out really well. Okay, good. So now that I know that it will, I'm gonna move it. I am really trying to be careful as to not pull up anything that isn't cut or that is cut that's not supposed to come off kind of thing, um, but we'll see. Cross your fingers, people. Cross your fingers. And then we have a whole bunch of stuff down here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this sticky thing down to get better, to get a better grip on, on all of the vinyl that I'm not using. This is the part that I feel like, I feel like one of the things that I never really wanted to have a Cricut for before it's just like, I feel like this is a waste of money when you have to throw, first of all, you know, I'm a recycler and landfill girl. <laughs> and I feel like this is just like a waste of money. I probably could have got a name down here. Maybe for the next one, hon. I'll put somebody's name down at the bottom. Okay. Um, but um, this image was worth every penny. Oh, see like that, am I? Did I take anything that needs to stay? That part, I don't know. That's the part I'm like, ugh, I don't know yet. I have to wait and see. So I go to weed and if anything's missing. Could you do me a huge favor? Can you give this a really good inspection in the light and see if anything looks like it's stuck there still that was supposed to stay? Like, I feel like something's missing from right here. And I really hope not, but that's what it looks like. Why don't you give it to me back because I know what image I'm looking for. Or not image, but I know what shape I'm going to go around. Oh, uh, let's see. Let's put it back down. Oh. There's a piece that's missing. <laughs> what? This little piece I just threw here. Yeah. It's just something you ripped off. Oh, okay. Actually, no, it looks like it's all... Let me see this. Oh, you stuck the thing. Eh. Sorry. I didn't mean no, 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 you didn't. I know. It's okay. It was more like, oh, poop. Oh, no, it looks like we got it all. It does, like, design-wise, look like there's something missing there, though. Like, now I got to go back and look at my design. But it doesn't look like there's anything cut. So, now we're just going to weed the rest. Like I said, it was a really pretty design. I have to do this better. I have to do this better. So, hold on a second. Oop. So the weeding process, I also have tweezers. Let me get the tweezers. I have the tweezers, the spatula, the tweezers here. Um, so I think the tweezers are what I'm gonna need. 
See, this vinyl is not sticky. That's where I'm kind of concerned. Okay. I'm sorry, I think I was telling the people. Oh, <laughs> sorry, I'm just so used to. You're okay. I just apologize to okay. you because. No, I understand. No problem. <sighs> Babe, yes, do you remember weeding the last project? Honestly, not really. Okay. But by the looks of it, it's like you're pulling certain things off. I can't see. I'm like, I'm literally think that I'm about to be to legally it? blind. Right, what? Okay. Do you want me to What try? did you say? Do you want me to try? What did you say before, babe? I, I think I do, but I don't know. I don't know. I have a lot of glare. Do you guys have all the glare that I'm getting? I have a lot of glare. And then there's all these little people. these things cost so much money look at how much time it's taking me to weed <laughs> i'm just kidding i'm kidding can i put this back up on the table i need to uncross my knee so I mentioned it earlier that most of this video is going to be shot in real time with you. But then there was just some parts that just seemed like really long. Because I have vision issues, I was having a lot more trouble weeding than you might. Um, but And I did really pick a very intricate pattern. But I wanted to just go over a couple of things first. First thing is, I started with my t-shirt. Because I figured if I messed it up, that would be okay. Um, I didn't want to spend extra money to buy like an extra t-shirt or to waste an extra sheet of vinyl on a practice piece of material. So I was like, whatever happens, happens. So if you noticed, there was a couple of images that did not transfer. Um, I will show you here. When I went to go create the cut file, the two images disappeared, but I'll show you here. So you can see the two images are blank, the crest and the top of the broom. But if you look in the original, um, image that she sent me they were there so um, it took me a bit to figure out but again this is why I did my practice shirt first or I did my shirt as the practice shirt um, I will show you in a minute how I rectified it I won't show you the steps of how I rectified it but I'll show you what I ended up coming up with <laughs> but don't worry we'll have lots more as I get better at it I want to teach you as I get better I don't want to just show you me learning so I'm going to cut this off and Jim's going to go weed it <laughs> for me because it's really tiny. Do you guys see the tiny spaces? You guys can see what it's going to say too. Look, um, It's really tiny. Um, I had really gotten to the point where I really needed his help. Um, I will tell you that these two, I wanted to have my two sisters... Jane and Alicia they came first um they came first they did actually technically uh, but they arrived at my house two days prior than the rest of my guests and I wanted to have their t-shirts their squad t-shirts done um as well as their water bottles which we'll do water bottles in a day or two um so I was really just trying to have just me and Jim do it but once my sisters got there um it was much easier to have them help <laughs> um but my sisters don't have great eyesight either because you know we're all 50 plus now but um uh this and i mentioned it earlier but this heating the surface underneath the heat transfer vinyl this particular one worked so amazing i want to tell you so amazing um what i ended up having to do and um i didn't really show any of this because we never hauled it was Jim went back for more heat transfer vinyl. We, uh, it's another thing too, is that sometimes it's called heat transfer vinyl. So this particular roll was heat transfer vinyl, Easy Weed by Sizen, I believe I mentioned it earlier. Um, and then we had some Cricut 
heat transfer vinyl or permanent heat transfer vinyl. And then what was on sale the week that we were doing this was it was called the Paper Company and it was their iron on vinyl. Now, I tried to look to see if I could see if it was just a manufacturer's choice of words. Because I was like, is he tra transferred different than iron on? Is, uh, you know, the, is the difference in like wearables and like transferring to different surfaces? And honestly, in all of my research, I couldn't find any difference other than like some manufacturers, in people's opinions, manufacturers have different quality of heat transfer vinyl or iron on vinyl. So if you know of something that's different, please let us know in the comments. We can all learn from your experience. Um, but I really did love this pattern. I did love that it was intricate because I really wanted my guests to feel like I, they were special enough to put the extra time into, honestly. Um, and plus, the, just I wanted to make it look like something I would have purchased. For a long time, I was stuck on budget of you know, in my whole life of like making things look better than they really look like they were. If that makes any sense. Um, I like to, I like to make things that cost a dollar, but don't look like they cost a dollar. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, I wanted to be able to be the kind of person or I wanted to be able to produce the kind of work that people would pay me to do. <laughs> if that makes any sense. Hopefully that makes sense. So I knew that picking an intricate detailed pattern um, would work. Now, as I mentioned previously or um, in this video, I'll mention that I am the person that everybody's always turned to in the past to do their, into, their, do their graphic arts, to do their invitations, to do their, um, you know, mock-ups and copies but I just ended up spending the little extra money it was only three dollars to buy this um, SVG file from Etsy than to do all this work and sometimes time is money and sometimes money is time and sometimes they're interchangeable so to me it was worth it to spend the little extra especially since I had so much trouble getting this program situated up and running now, Jim accidentally weeded off the O from Potter, and by the time he found it, he didn't know if it was upside down or backwards or forward. We couldn't figure it out. Unlike the T or the P, you can't really tell with the, which direction the O goes in. But I will tell you, I put it on upside down, and we'll get to that at the end when I go to tr heat transfer it on. This vinyl, oddly enough, is only works in one direction. <laughs> it's weird. I just assumed it was like vinyl from days of yore <laughs> I'm old um, but anyway I digress so I wanted to pick something that was intricate now I knew it was going to be more difficult but I wanted it to look like it was extra special same reason we spent a little bit extra on t-shirts I could have very easily gone to the Walmart and bought bought three big and tall a pack of three big and tall white v-neck t-shirts to put all of these on for the same price I paid for two of these t-shirts but I wanted it to be a little bit more special okay I don't want to say that I regret it because I don't what I do regret is not starting these projects sooner there was a lot uh, I had a schedule set of what it was going to be and then with everything that was going on in my home life things just got thrown out of whack of the schedule um, hindsight being what it is I I would have liked to have start earlier however if you've been around for a while you know that I only had about 30 days from the time that I found out people were actually going to come until the actual party and a lot of that was still we were in the midst of this giant purge and reorganization project throughout my house so I really had to finish that so that I could prepare for guests <laughs> plus the party so it was a bit of a time crunch that way but again hindsight being what it was if I would have had more time obviously I would have put more time into it okay now, as you can see, it got to the point where I was like, it's getting a little bit too detailed. It's getting a little bit too late and I just needed a little extra assistance. Um, since this, my mother-in-law has purchased these light up magnifying goggles, which are pretty awesome. I'm going to share them with you guys in the future. Um, 
and I can't wait to actually be able to put them into practice. What was hard about the vinyl weeding, and I will tell you if you've never done a project before, is that you're basically looking for a tiny, tiny cut seam. Now tomorrow, well, it's not tomorrow or the next day when we um, show the bottles, I will show you the vinyl being cut and I will zoom the camera in to see. You just can see the little differentiation in the light. It's really all you get. Um, and if you can't pick that up for one reason or another, it's just going to be very, very difficult. Now, I will tell you, honestly, if I wasn't doing this on camera, it's easier. Or I should say, when I wasn't doing this on camera, it was easier. Because you can control your light source when you don't have to film. <laughs> when you have to film, you want the project to be lit up so you guys could see what I'm doing. You can see the project. You can see the mat and everything. But what that's doing is that's casting that light down on the project. I need or, or, or I recommend you cast the light sideways. Um, get a table lamp and shoot it sideways. And this way you can see where all your cuts are. Really will make a huge difference. Now, I have not gone back to fix my t-shirt, but that's what my intention is. I did save some heat transfer scraps, so I can go ahead and I can add a broom top and the crest to uh, my t-shirt as well. But I can't wait to show you the crest that I came up with. I actually just found, I searched Google Images for Hogwarts crest, and that's all it was. It was a crest with an H in the middle, and I made it black with a white H in the middle, I created the cut file, I went ahead and I added it into the image that the girl had sent me and then Bob's your uncle. Um, as far as the broom handle, the broom top was concerned, the broom that she had I wasn't really crazy about to be honest with you because uh, wizard brooms don't look like brooms that you sweep your house with. They look like brooms that come to a beautiful point because you're supposed to ride on them and they're supposed to be aerodynamic. But I guess there are different brooms in the wizard world too. <laughs> so what I ended up coming up with is sort of a teardrop shape, which is more like the Nimbus 2000, and that might not oh, mean anything to you, so I'll just zip it. Um, <laughs> paper. Oh, I have the little one that says birthday, so it's over here. Oh, we picked up a, we picked up a stray. Yeah, a stray piece of tea transfer vinyl, Jim. So it would have been like a speck, permanent speck on there. Eh. So now let's take a look. So I was mentioning before, I'm pretty sure that there's probably a broom top here and then something there. What? I don't know. I don't. But as you can tell, it's like heart shaped. Um, and that's really what I want. Oh, jeepers. Am I like stuck to all this vinyl stick to me? So it says to place it where you want it. And I feel like that's where I want it. <laughs> And I don't know if it's level or any of that stuff, but it looks good to me. And it says put over a piece of parchment. Where's the instructions? Got it. It says, on a hard flat surface, place garment and transfer as desired, covered with parchment or craft tape paper. Set home iron to cotton setting, no steam. Press iron firmly for 10 seconds on desired desi on entire design. Peel away clear poly carrier and then recover with parchment and and heat for five to ten seconds and allow 24 hours before washing so first you iron on nine eight seven six five four three two one ten nine eight seven six five four three two one ten nine eight seven six five four three two one 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Let's see how well the clear plastic comes off. Let's go slow. 
as to not to disturb anything. That's right, I am. Oh, so excited. Now I'm gonna see about layering because I think that I'm, I'm, I'm gonna tell you now that I'm like 99.9, .9, so I'm sure that that other image has got the broom top on it because it just, I remember it being there and I remember something being there. <laughs> and it's possible I was supposed to layer, so. And now five to 10 seconds. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. <laughs> Are you looking to play on the computer? Or are you just sitting there so you're in your shot? I'm sitting here and just being your shot, so if you need me. I'm just making, I'm just asking. That's why I'm asking, huh? No, that's, all That is amazing. You're so amazing. All right, so then the last no part Moana. of the Tisha. What? No more Moana. No more Moana for me. The last part of the t-shirt is I want to do a sleeve, but if I put it dead center, there'll be a seam right there. So I have to remember where this seam is and make sure that it's enough it's over enough, yeah. So I don't have to iron this little piece down here. I just have to iron where it's going to go. So I'll leave that folded so I have an idea of what, where, where it is basically. So it says Jerry Ann's 50th Harry Potter party. And I am still on a bit of a seam there, but now I'm not, okay. Get the parchment and ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. It said ten seconds, right? It said ten seconds remove. Yeah. Ten seconds remove. Oh, oh, oh. Go back, go back. Maybe I'll move it around. I had an eye stick, a high coming off, an eye coming off. Let's try now. Oh, these want to come off. Hmm, am I supposed to let it cool? No, press iron firmly for 10 seconds on entire design. Huh. Okay. Let's try this again. Okay, so the determination was, where's the tweezers? The determination is that O is on upside down.
we flipped it back over again. Oh, now it's crooked, but I don't care. I don't care. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Now, we're just gonna put. Now, this particular next step isn't necessary, but it's just gonna help. It's just a thing that I have done in the past with shirts. Um, I have this iron on, uh, this is an ironing mat that I bought on at Collections ETC, I want to say 25 years ago. Um, it's just basically, we always grew up ironing on our dining room table with towels. No joke. In fact, I think some of my sisters still do that. Um, but I bought this mat instead because I do a lot of ironing with all the sewing. Um, but what I just did was I rolled it up and I tucked it into the sleeve because after ironing on the emblem on the sleeve, I wanted to go ahead and iron out all of the wrinkles that I, or the seam that I created with the iron. That's all. So I created this round sleeve area because it's very hard to iron sleeves <laughs> on t-shirts. It's a little different to if you have an ironing board and you're, you know, you can pull the sleeve up the ironing board. But even when you do that, you can end up to, sh you can end up stretching out the sleeve and you really don't want to do that. So all I did was I rolled it up, stuck it in the sleeve, and then I went ahead and ironed it. So now I just want to show you really quickly how I'm going to weed. And this is going to be very quickly. It's on, it's on four times speed right now. <laughs> But I wanted to show you really quickly. This is just a different heat transfer vinyl. This is the um, paper company. Um, I, like I said, it was on sale. I got 12 by 24 for $14.99 on sale. Um, so that was really good. I felt like I got one t-shirt was about $7, but, um, or $7.50, I should say. Um, but I was able to use a gift card that I got from uh, from Christmas from Aunt Sue for Hobby Lobby. So that was pretty nice. And from my friend Chris because she's awesome. Um, but this one weeded so much easier. You didn't really have to heat the vinyl. It just peeled off really, really well. It also transfer, transferred so much nicer. <laughs> like amazingly nicer. I had a lot less trouble transferring this vinyl than I did the Sizen. Now the Sizen was a gift. I'd never used any of it before, so I was great. I'm grateful that I got it. It saved me money. I appreciate it. I learned too. That's another thing. By getting that, I learned what to, to look for in a transfer of vinyl, what to not look for, what to do, what to not do, that kind of thing. Um, so I showed, told you I found this crest. I found this really cute little H um, inside the Hogwarts crest. And I ended up putting that where the crest was originally. The original crest was just um, a shape. It was did not have an H in the middle. I actually kind of like the H better, to be honest with you. Besides the fact that it's my monogram, it also stands for Hogwarts. Um, and then I like my broom top better too. So it's kind of was like one of those things where you know it was a happy accident. It was like the universe was looking out for you. So I'm showing you here that it was also super easier to weed all of the details. The one problem that I did have was this vinyl was very flexible and my blade started to get weak. And towards the end, there were these really intricate stripes on the, on the tie. Um, the tie has, uh, just like in the Harry Potter universe, the ties of the school colors have like uh, a thin line. Well, basically, it's like a solid color tie. And it's got two thin lines and then a space and then one thin line and then a space and two thin lines. So trying to weed those thin lines out of the, um, of the tie was sort of like, uh, at one point I had weeded the thin line that was between the two thin lines, um, if that makes any sense, where the negative impression was. I actually ended up weeding the wrong piece. So I was grateful that that uh, this vinyl weeded much easier for everything else, but was a little less grateful that it weeded so easy for that. 
if that makes any sense. Now, the other things that I changed between my t-shirt, which was the first sample, and everybody else's, is I changed the way that the word squad was written. Um, when I had seen, like, on Pinterest, different Harry Potter party ideas, one of the things that was kind of prevalent, which I was surprised about, was how many bachelorette parties with a Harry Potter theme there were, <laughs> or ideas for one. Um, and that's where I got the idea of, of the, of like the bride squad and I made it the birthday squad. So when I originally made my t-shirt, the, only the S and the B from birthday squad were capital, but then I went back and looked at all the other ones and I noticed that they were all capital letters. So I went ahead and I changed that. I also made the letters a little bit bigger. Um, the other thing was I made the heart bigger so I could use up more vinyl. And the last thing that I did that was different is I also made the um, birthday emblem that's on the sleeve. I ended up making that bigger as well. Everybody's t-shirt could really accommodate a much bigger area on their sleeve. And it was, I just knew that the bigger the font, the easier it was going to be to weed. So I went ahead and I made my life easier and everybody else's life easier at the same time. Okay. <laughs> Now, I know this sounds like redundant that before I was talking over while I was weeding and now I'm actually just showing it again, but I do want to show you more of the detail. Um, I'm going to link this image in the description box down below in case you're interested in purchasing it for any Harry Potter fans you might have. Um, she has done, you know, a really good job if you're a cricket user that's like not a beginner you would have been able to recognize that this was um the svg cup file wasn't was corrupt or whatever where there was a couple of pieces missing i didn't recognize that at first um, until i actually printed the first ones out and then i started to look for or realize what i should have been looking for before is what i'm saying so i wanted to just show you up close all of the details um as well now the one thing that uh, was different than all the other t-shirts <laughs> is my sister Alicia's uh, not a sleeve person. So she said, um, I hate to ask you this. <laughs> I said, oh my goodness, what are you going to ask me? She said, can you print me out another one of these and cut the sleeves off my shirt? Because she, we call her Holly Hormone because she's always warm. And um, she just wanted a tank top. She's like, there's just no way. So I ended up cutting off her sleeves and we took another, uh, like the birthday party patch and we put it just over her right shoulder. Everybody else's was on their right arm and I put it just right over her right shoulder so that she could be still part of the squad, still wear her badge or whatever it is and um and just still participate but not sweat her hiney off okay now I wanted to show you this just really quick to show you that once I made these patches bigger it was a lot easier to weed and that's why I left that little bit on there it also of course was easier to weed with this vinyl couldn't believe that it was like night and day difference so I, I left all of this in and it sounds like it sounds like a whole big mess of like, why do you leave all this stuff in, Jerry? But I really do want you guys to learn from me because I will tell you, if I would have only had the one type of vinyl, I would have been very, very discouraged. I probably would have said, I'm doing this for my party and I'm never doing it again. But I found some other vinyl and it was so much easier and the rest of the projects turned out to be so wonderful. I got to try all different types of vinyls, metallics and um, paper craft ones and Cricut ones and Joann's ones. I just tried different varieties and I found which ones I loved and which ones I don't love so much and which ones were good for what type of project and which ones were good for other types of projects. So um, that being said, <laughs> I want you to learn from me. I want you to not get discouraged if it doesn't work out the first time. I don't want you to feel like it's too much effort or it's not worth your time because projects like this are worth your time. Imagine what a t-shirt would cost like this on Etsy. Um, imagine like a t-shirt would cost like this on another platform. 
Okay, and that's what you have to ask yourself. You say, what is my time worth? What is the value that I'm getting? Um, if you have time and not, and not money, then it's definitely worth it to do it yourself. If you have money and not time, it's definitely worth to pay somebody else to do it. And if you have a little bit of both, put a little bit of each in to your project and you'll get some amazing results. Now, this is just uh, project two of the party DIYs. I've got so many more coming. Um, I cannot wait to share more with you. Uh, it's just a lot to compile all of the different video clips and voiceovers and stuff because there are a lot of DIYs. I basically didn't leave two square inches of my house without something in it. No, I'm, I'm exaggerating. There was three square inches. No, I'm kidding. But I really did try to make every little corner of my home a little bit special, a little bit of uh, Hogwarts and the Harry Potter universe right there. So here is how the t-shirts turned out from my guests. Um, you could see the H crest. You can see the new arm sleeve. And you can see some sneak peeks in the background. And here is my birthday squad. Woo woo, birthday squad in the house. Um, if you guys don't know, that's my sister Alicia on the right, my sister Jane on the left, and obviously you recognize me. And this, of course, is my best friend Sharon on the left, my best friend Lisa on the right, and of course you recognize me. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this. If you do, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to share and all the things. And as always, you take care. God bless. And we'll see you next time. Bye.